I wanted to give this film a chance. I was like, it can't be as bad as people are saying. It can't possibly be as bad as people are saying. And it's, yeah, it's really as bad as people were saying. I hate what Todd Phillips did. And I hate that selfish approach that he took on this. This whole idea of the fact that he didn't want to do the film. So he took the money and did it and tried to annoy everyone with it. I hate that. Because other filmmakers have done it. It's an infuriating thing. Because they moan, moan, moan in the media saying, Oh, the fans, the fans, you know, they don't understand it. Or I didn't want to make this, you know. We still took the money, mate. You took the money. You took a lot of money. And then you just put out a stinker and screwed over everyone. How childish can you get? You're in an enviable position. You get to make movies for a living. And you just want to just tarnish your own legacy by putting out something rubbish just to be difficult. I hate that. That is infuriating. All the people who had to go at Zack Snyder for his DC vision, at least he cared. At least he wasn't pissing around deliberately. The movie had several times that it could have gone in a good direction. You know, little bright sparks here and there. And I think that was deliberate. Because you'd just be sitting there and you go, oh yeah, they could have done that. And then that would have become like the Joker movie I want. But instead, they, he cuts it off. He has several moments where it could go off in a good direction. And he cuts it off. It's just a dismal, nihilistic, horrendous film with no payoff. It goes absolutely nowhere. Arthur Fleck starts off in one place and then, and then he ends up further in that place. Nothing is achieved in two and a half hours. And you're just left feeling empty in this pathetic, boring slog. Look at the first Joker and its comments on mental health and its interesting take and it's sympathetic and it's empathetic but it's also showing that what can happen when you get out of control it's martin scorsese it's his taxi driver but it does end with him becoming the joker let's make no mistake that film ends with him becoming the joker anyone who says it doesn't is, is lying to you and then we get to joker 2 and he's not the joker he never has been the joker and the whole message of the film is he's not the joker what in the name of God were you thinking, Todd Phillips? Lady Gaga is not Harley Quinn. She's a horrible character. She's a heartless character. There's no one to root for in the whole film. I'm going to give spoilers because you know what? Don't watch the film. But if you haven't seen it, here are spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. She ultimately doesn't love Arthur. She loved the idea of the Joker and she walks off from him at the end because he's not the joker you heartless horrible woman like he wanted to turn away from it you know this is this is the, the interesting thing i guess that todd phillips gives us you can really realize that arthur fleck might be properly sympathetic because he wants to turn away from it all and then she just spits in his face she never loved him what a horrible disgusting woman she is the whole thing is so insidious the fact that she's trying to make arthur and the joker when he doesn't want to be because she only loves that that's really insidious and horrible this is what i'm saying there's so much horrible stuff to this film and that we got all that in the first joker but it was done with taste it was done very well it was done with memorable scenes that scene where the joker shoots murray in the in joker is better than anything in this film by a country mile and yes there's some good shots there's some good direction but that musical stuff is just thrown in to mock you it's like you can't even hear the characters singing you can't hear the characters singing you just hear the music really loud the sound mix is off they're just prancing around giving you like snippets of what it would be like if Joaquin Phoenix and um, Lady Gaga did a Joker and Harley film this is what you could have had. We don't want to give you that. And you just give us this dismal film where we learn and gain nothing. All we learn is that Harley is a heartless, disgusting person. And we learn that Arthur was just screwed over by everyone in life. And also he was heartless and disgusting, really, because he was violent at the core. So we don't even get to be sympathetic of Arthur, really, because we know that deep down he's evil, but he's not even the Joker. So we can't even be interested in him becoming the Joker so that we can get a level of spectacle at him becoming that villain. So he just stays the Arthur 
that he was before he became the Joker in the first film. I just don't understand it. I don't understand what they were trying to do here. This has really fried my brain, guys. This is one of the worst films I've seen in years. In years. If you didn't want to do a Joker film, Todd, don't make it, mate. If you were so offended that the, that the studio wanted a sequel, because that, that's how Hollywood works, mate. When you make money, you're going to be offered a sequel. That's just how it works. Sorry, mate. Go work in the real world if you don't like that. Reject it. And let another filmmaker make Joker 2 and just say, look, that wasn't me. I made Joker. But instead, he accepted the money, cried and moaned and said, I don't want to take this film, made a terrible film, and then said, look at this, and just spat it out there and took the money. No, I'm not sympathetic to Todd Phillips. Most of these fans are like, oh yeah, no, but he didn't want to do it. So that's why he done this. I respect him for that. What? Taking loads of money and making something shit because you didn't want to do it. And then just crying that you didn't want to do it. No, that's not sympathetic. I hate stuff like this. I really do. This film is terrible. It's a waste of time. It's such a waste of time. There's nothing to talk about. There is nothing to this. Nothing. We start off in the same place. We end in the same place. And then in between, it's just a sandwich of shite. You don't buy their relationship because there's nothing that there's no reason for them to like each other. And Harley doesn't even like him anyway. Joaquin Phoenix is playing the Arthur he played before he became the Joker, which makes no sense, which means the Joker film is redundant. Everything is redundant in this film. I guess it's cool to see a young Harvey Dent, but he looks about 13 years old, which makes no sense also. So much of this makes no sense. Courtroom drama. Yeah, cause that's what we want from a Joker film, don't we? We want to see him pissing around, walking around a courtroom, talking like the sheriff from James Bond, Live and Let Die. Jesus Christ, this film is terrible. This film is terrible. Let me know what you think, guys. Thanks for watching.